Welcome to Facts 101, where you'll learn about interesting and random facts. Why do my eyes sting when I swim in the ocean, but not when I cry? Because seawater contains about three times more salt than your tears. The higher concentration of salt can cause a mild stinging in your eyes, even if you wear a mask. Why do I blink? Humans blink automatically to flush away the stream of cleansing tears produced by ducts in the corner of your eyes. Adults blink about 15 times per minute, but our rate of blinking slows when we read, which is why our eyes tire after tackling a long book or focus on a distant object. No matter how hard we try not to blink, the need to flush the eyes eventually trumps our willpower, as anyone who's lost a staring contest will tell you. Never start a staring contest with a baby. Infants blink only about two times per minute. Why do some people snore in their sleep? Because something is keeping the air from moving freely through the passages behind their noses and mouths. Maybe they have bad sleep posture, or maybe they've put on weight or have a sinus infection. Sometimes snoring is brought on by age. Whatever the reason, snoring can get loud a woman in England once snored loud enough to drown out the sound of a low-flying passenger plane. Why do I have thumbs? Having no thumbs would make you all thumbs, fumbling to tie your shoes or assemble a hamburger. Don't believe us? Tape one of your thumbs against the side of your hand and see how hard life becomes. We inherited a fully opposable thumb, named for its ability to close tip to tip against our other fingers from our primate ancestors about two million years ago. These ancient relatives needed handier hands to help get a grip on simple tools. So give a thumbs up to your thumbs. They're the main reason you can text with one hand and build a burger without fumbling the bun. Why can I pop my knuckles? When you move or bend your fingers, you occasionally squeeze tiny air bubbles that form in the protective fluid around your body's joints. Those popping bubbles create an audible crack. Do animals have fingerprints like us? It should come as no surprise that gorillas, chimpanzees, and other higher primates closely related to humans have fingerprints. But if you look closely at a koala's paw, you'll see tiny swirling ridges on the skin of its fingers and toes. They are fingerprints, and every koala has a unique set. That means animal detectives would have no problem tracking down koala crooks. Why do I get lightheaded when I stand up too fast? Doctors have a name for that fuzzy feeling in your head when you leap to your feet from a sitting position, orthostatic hypotension. When you stand up quickly, gravity causes blood to settle in the lower parts of your legs and lower torso. Your body tries to equalize blood pressure to your upper torso, arms, and head, which results in a sudden drop in blood pressure and a few seconds of feeling faint. Fear not, it's totally normal. How many bacteria are inside my body right now? Your body is built on trillions of itty-bitty living blobs called cells that work together to make you, you. But for every cell you call your own, 10 foreign bacteria cluster around or near it. You're a microbe metropolis. Scientists call these communities of foreign bacteria your body's flora, and no two people host the same mix of microorganisms. In fact, scientists are beginning to think of your flora as just another organ. That's a lot of bacteria. Can I see any of them? No, they're microscopic, but you can certainly smell them. Like any living thing, bacteria eat, reproduce, die, and create waste, which can make your life stink, literally. Bacteria are the source of bad breath and body odor. Why do I get a headache when I eat something cold too quickly? Doctors have a name for that burst of brain pain that comes from gulping a cold treat on a hot day, sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. The phenomenon is better known as brain freeze or an ice cream headache, two names that do a great job of describing exactly what's going on in your head. Your mouth and tongue are loaded with blood vessels, including arteries at the back of the throat that circulate blood straight to your brain. 
chugging an icy treat unleashes a mini blizzard in your mouth. So the arteries near your throat constrict to protect your brain from an extreme temperature change. You feel that contraction as a brain freeze. So how can I beat brain freeze? Go slow when you eat or drink something cold on a hot day. That'll help you avoid triggering an ice cream headache in the first place. If you feel one coming on, jam your tongue against the top of your mouth or drink something warm to counteract the effects of the frozen treat. How long can a person survive without water? A healthy person can survive only five or six days without water, fewer days in hot climates. Where does toe jam come from? Your sweaty gym sock is like a five-star spa for fungus, which squeezes under your toenails and causes a burning itch. Between your toes, bacteria combine with lint to create a smelly, cheesy, absolutely sickening substance called toe jam. Why does my belly button get linty? That dank dent in your belly is like a magnet for dead skin cells and bits of clothing fiber. It all mixes together and becomes a breeding ground for bacteria. Scientists have discovered more than 2,300 species of microbes living in people's navels. Why is it easier to float in the ocean than in a swimming pool? All that dissolved salt makes seawater more dense or heavier than fresh water, and objects float more easily in dense water. Take a dip in the Dead Sea, situated between Jordan and Israel, which is 10 times saltier than the ocean, and you'll have amazing bobbing abilities. Why is the Grand Canyon so grand? Carving through 277 miles or 446 kilometers of Arizona, USA, and up to a mile or 1.6 kilometers deep in places, the Grand Canyon exposes millions of years of geological history in layers and layers of colorful rocks. The canyon is proof of the power of water over stone. The raging waters of the Colorado River, along with other forces, carved the canyon over millions of years, a process known as erosion. Why doesn't lightning strike twice? That old saying is a sham. Bolts strike skyscrapers and other tall buildings twice, thrice, or more. New York City's Empire State Building gets hit about 100 times each year. Why aren't planes struck by lightning? They are. Airplanes flying through storm clouds occasionally get struck by intra-cloud lightning, but modern planes are designed to withstand multiple hits and keep on flying. Why did ancient Egyptians mummify their dead? To the people of ancient Egypt, death was only the beginning. Egyptian kings, called pharaohs, were thought to become gods when they passed away. Ordinary Egyptians believed they would spend eternity with their ancestors in a perfect version of Egypt. But gaining entry into the afterlife wasn't as easy as tumbling off a pyramid. The Egyptians believed the spirits of their dearly departed wouldn't have a happy afterlife without access to their former bodies. So priests perfected the process of mummification to keep corpses from rotting away. Why is the Statue of Liberty green? Covered in thin copper plates, the Statue of Liberty, a gift from France, was originally a dull brown when it arrived in New York Harbor in 1885. But unlike most things, the statue actually got prettier with age. Over the next 30 years, she slowly took on the greenish tinge you see today. The salty air from the harbor reacted with the copper to create a thin layer of salt called a patina. Lady Liberty's green sheen is a good thing. The patina actually protects the statue from rusting. Thank you for watching Facts 101. We hope you learned some interesting new facts. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.